There's something hidden inside me. What is it? It's a memory. A memory? A memory of what you did. I'm so excited for to finally show this film to people. So it's lovely to, you know, be home again and to have the premiere here. Very proud. Anyone can steal a painting. Let's start the bidding at five million pounds. All it takes is a bit of muscle. It's got a heist bit in it, but it's, you know, it's more than that. It's an art heist film, it's a sexy thriller, it's, you know, it's a drama, it's, it's action. So the thing that makes it different from other heist movies is that it's not all about a heist. Stop right there. James McAvoy, his character is, starts off in a way that you might expect. And he's kind of good guy, he's like your narrator, your guide. And then he gets assaulted and you feel sympathy and then it begins to change. He steals a 25 million pound painting, uh, gets into an accident and he can't remember where he put the painting. Where is it? I can't remember, I got hit on the head. That you remember. I play a hypnotherapist and she's brought in to try to help uh, Simon, who's played by James McAvoy. I'm trying to help him retrieve the hidden painting. Have you ever been hypnotized before? Whatever is in his head, she can find. Now, I want you to relax, Simon. Stop. What can you make him do? Anything. There's the good guy, there's the femme fatale, and there's the bad guy. And throughout the course of the movie, we all swap places about 10 times. Uh, I never become the femme fatale, by the way. You have the three of them battling it out for who's the center of the movie. That's a lovely dynamic. That has to do with uh, dreams and consciousness. And you mix this up with a bit of a romance and, uh, you know, and you got trans. Go part of your plan. Two of you planning it together. She put that there. It's not real. He wants the painting for himself. I don't believe that. <laughs> it's really surprising. It's a maze of twists and turns and puzzle pieces. And, you know, it's, it's you know, you want to drink afterwards. You want to you talk about it afterwards. In the hands of somebody like Danny Boyle, it's, it's thrilling and exciting and keeps you guessing. It's definitely quite a ride. The memory is locked in a cage. And with enough force, the lock can be broken. Whatever they're expecting for, they will be surprised, hey! that's for sure. I'm so excited for people to come up to me on the street and go, oh, I didn't expect that. Can we talk about this, please? Elizabeth, I have something to tell you. You ready? I remember.